Jacobs. I'm here at the North American Solutions Center for Angus R. Ram. What I'd like to do for you today is an instructional video of a radiator handling device. I want to point out some of the key features on this device. A lot of the construction is made out of aluminum to lighten the device up. You can see the, the main structure here and a lot of the brackets are made out of aluminum. And the controls is where most of the features are. There's actually limit switches located in a couple of key points for some key features on the actual radiator. So the operator has to lower the device in the correct spot to go ahead and clamp. If those limit switches do not make properly, you will not get a green indicator that tells you it's okay to clamp. If both of those limit switches do make, you're gonna get an indicator and the operator's gonna know he's okay to clamp up. After you do clamp, there's also limit switches located here and here off of the back sides of the cylinders to verify that the cylinders did clamp up all the way because we've incorporated an up disable circuit so that if the operator were to lower down, go ahead and clamp, but for some reason something went wrong to where the clamps actually didn't physically clamp, we're going to lock out the ability of the operator to go up unless that both those limit switches are made just to verify that everything is a go and he can go ahead and lift up. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate the features. So if the operator drops down on the radiator and he's not on the right spot, I'm not getting my limit switches. So even though I'm trying to hit the clamp, it's not going to clamp up. If the operator does drop down to the right spot, I'm going to get the OK to clamp when green signal. That tells the operator I'm good to go. I go ahead and hit my clamp. Everything clamps up, and then now my two limit switches are made off of the cylinder, and then I can raise up. From there, you can see that there's actually dual controls. This would be the front controls on the front side of the radiator. The operator can actually rotate it around, use the other set of controls that are exactly the same, drop down from the rear, go ahead and unclamp, and release the part. If you'd be interested in a device like this, please contact your local sales manager.